gate score versus marks versus rank who has got rank 1 so gate would be giving a score to this sq okay this sq would be that score which is given to the top ranker by the uh, gate multiple candidates shared uh, their ranks okay and especially in the mid range so there a clustered performance was noticed okay now for a particular session paper may be tough and for the other session paper may be easy but uh, we should have some criteria no for the fair evaluation among the students hello guys how are you i hope you are in the best state of your health guys today i would be presenting on this topic no target equals to failure guys i won't mince my words yes if you do not have a target you are failing day by day so please set a target okay so today i'll be discussing uh regarding these three important terms that is gate score versus marks versus rank so are they same for example if i am getting a score uh, a rank of uh, marks 69 is my score 690 is it the case or is that the case let us see so guys i would just say that yes these are interconnected but they are not the same okay these are interconnected but yes these are not the same okay now let us understand what exactly this is for example i am obtaining a marks of 69.07 so these are my raw marks for example this is obtained by me in cs branch 69.07 so these are this is my raw marks this is not my score so for getting into the score or calculating the score we have a specific formula for that which get uh, applies and get the scores okay okay but yes let us see what exactly uh, the score is and how that score is calculated so you can see here the this is the formula which gate uses to calculate the gate score okay see now i'll be just uh, giving you a quick insight what exactly this m is m is the raw marks which you have obtained then what exactly this mq is mq is the qualifying marks which gate sets for example in cs branch 31 32 33 what the gate sets for every year that changes okay now what this mt is mt is the mean or the average of the top 10 students top 10 rankers who have obtained the marks okay then after that what this sq and st are sq is the score uh, of the student who has just qualified okay so for example 300 350 that is a score that is set by the gate as uh, set by the gate uh, to the aspirant and this st is exactly the score which is obtained by the rankers okay for example a person who has got rank 1 so gate would be giving a score to this sq okay this sq would be that score which is given to the top ranker by the uh, gate and this st uh, sq yes so sq is the, just the qualifying score that is given by the gate and st is the uh, score that is given to the gate by uh, for the top ranker okay now firstly why this gate score is calculated even when we have the raw marks why it is even calculated see we have gate uh, exam in number of shifts okay for cs it mechanical uh, the persons who are there in every branch so they sits in the number of shifts now for a particular session paper may be tough and for the other session paper may be easy but uh, we should have some criteria no for the fair evaluation among the students okay so for that what we do is it gives uh, a fair for the fair evaluation what uh, the gate do is it normalize the marks and based on that normalized marks it gives you the score okay so firstly your marks would be normalized and after normalization your gate score is released okay so yes two students with the same raw marks could be there but yes or in if they are appearing in different session may get different scores okay so this is one of the things which uh, can make this thing very clear to you the persons who are there in the same uh, for the same branch sitting uh, in the different uh, sessions but yes obtaining same marks can have different scores okay so gate score helps create a fair comparison across different sessions so that is why this gate scores are calculated okay now Uh, yes i would just like to give you a brief introduction for this cs branch this is exactly for the cs uh, branch yes so for cs a total of 170825 candidates sit has uh, appeared uh, for this gate exam and yes since uh, we had number of sessions in which the gate exam was conducted so normalization uh, has to be there okay but that affects the marks significantly okay so yes as a result gate scores increase slightly for uh, few candidates who were there in the tougher scenarios or who were appearing for the tougher uh, session and they would be decreased for the marks uh, who were there in the uh, i mean who were appearing for a easier uh, paper or who were appearing a easier paper okay so for that the gate scores would be decreased yes okay so 
this is just a table where you can just see the rank one yes i would just like to share rank one uh, rahul uh, has scored rank one and he got 100 out of 100 marks so gate has given the score as 1000 to him okay so this score has been allotted by gate uh, as 1000 then yes you can just see i mean how different rankers have been allotted uh, according to the marks which they have obtained okay so they could be from any of the sessions i mean they could be from tougher one or uh, from the easier one but yes after normalization these gate scores have been released okay Yes, again, then you can just see the, the continuation of this table rank uh, from rank 308 to 1414. These are the scores and these are the marks. And similarly, the uh, table continues. So I have data till 23,003 where this is the qualifying marks. Okay, so this, this 343 score is the qualifying score. Okay. Chaliye. Now, yes, a few key observations from gate 2025 I would like to share with you. See multiple candidates shared uh, their ranks okay and especially in the mid range so there a clustered performance was noticed okay so the persons who were uh, having the same marks but yes they had different scores and based on that scores they uh, were getting calls from different iits and nits okay yes yes i also saw uh, saw that in the third year gradually i mean the toppers are increasing okay because this third year no where the students have i mean uh, studied a number of subjects number of core subjects key subjects from there yes the top uh, top rankers are increasing okay i mean they're reflecting early and strategic preparation so this is a very good sign from the students yes and working professionals are also nowadays competing with the college going students a strong pressure of job holders among these scores uh, has uh, uh, i mean was seen in this competition bar okay and yes uh, the score marks gap widens due to normalization and paper variability that's already i have discussed okay yes this is just a, a graphical representation to just summarize what exactly we discussed earlier so you can just see this is a graph between rank and value and where the marks and scores are uh, summarized okay they are pectoral represented here where this orange represents the score and this uh, blue represents the mark so as you can see that as my score is in increasing rank is decreasing okay so this, this is just a graphical representation of what we discussed earlier Yes. Now, this is one of the important slide, guys. Gate 2026 prediction. One of the important things, we, or the person who is preparing, I would just like to share a few important points. Firstly, see, higher participation is expected because day by day competition is increasing. Okay. And especially among third year and working professionals. So, the persons who are preparing. So, I would say last year 1,70,000 sat. This year close to 2 lakh would be sitting okay yes and yes competition is getting tighter and more candidates with similar score and ranks would be there guys yes then the third one is cutoff may increase okay so i suppose this year two marks cutoff would be increased okay this would be incremented by two marks for cs and uh, i mean the same scenario would be for other branches such as da and other branches as well okay and yes more conceptual application based questions are expected so there would be no ratification majorly the persons who are clear with the concepts uh, may have the chance to get a get a better score and rank okay and yes higher cutoffs could be expected for uh, expected for iit and psu so i guys i would on a safer side i would say that guys aim for this around i mean more than this 80 marks guys okay just aim uh, the this this should be your raw marks at least this raw marks should be there so for a safer side guys get 80 or above it you would be your place is secured with any of the good psus or iits okay Yes. So guys, I would just say that day by day competition is increasing. I know day by day uh, the population is increasing. Yes, I know. But yes, do not lose hope. Just focus on the concept. Just focus on the daily preparation, the daily routines and the controllables which you can control. Guys, just do your preparation as you are doing for the last time. I am damn sure you would hit the bar. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys.